Can you see that this is a beautiful garden? And this is where we are going to stay right over here. It is called Mongore Hai. Okay, so let me show you the room. In a, this is like a small little cabin. And then right over here, there is a barbecue box. <laughs> and a grill mat and a small little chair, all this thing. And the gas. We are not going to use that for sure, but I'm sure that if you stay longer, it's good to have a barbecue right over here. One selling point that why I choose this uh, beautiful place, because there's an outdoor bathtub. Overlook at this beautiful view. It's, sadly, it's a very cloudy day. I can't see the seaside and I also can't see the beautiful snow cap. Uh, Mountain right over there, Tanuki right, I cannot remember the name, very sad, very sad, but uh, this hotel make my stay, uh, my feel better because uh, it's really beautiful, very calm, I'm sure at night here can see a very beautiful starry night, uh, if no cloud, <laughs> okay, uh, I spoke this hotel is about 200 plus, totally value for the money, this is everything that you get, smell very good smell like vanilla to me uh, this is the living room let me show you uh, more things and uh, they, they provide a lot of card game things so you won't get bored right over here um, the lots of information thing the speaker and the tic-tac-toe right your coin <laughs> and uh, this is the wardrobe inside the wardrobe uh, there's a steam iron ironing board, fire discrimin fire discriminator. <laughs> My goodness, what happened to me? And then uh, I'm not sure what is this. It's like a bin thing. Uh, looks good. I will find out what is that. And I'm not sure. Oh, vanilla fragrance sachet and uh, some cable underneath it. I'm not going to use it. My friend's not going to use it very beautiful uh, painting about the cabin that is the mountain that we'll go for a hike tomorrow and uh, a very cool dining space plenty of power plug okay um when, when the time that i booked the hotel they did not really send any information about check-in or whatever uh, I texted them on Instagram they replied me that for check-in um, the housekeeping will get the room ready by 10 a trial in the afternoon the cabin will stay unlocked for you to come inside and uh, just come in from trial and uh, this is talk about the hotel it's beautiful I think that should be the the owner very cute family sightseeing of this area oh, I suppose to go to the waterfall but I really got no time okay and there is a therapy thermal spa oh my god I should go there it looks so cool and the massage is $63 and facial looking good Okay, okay, this is gonna be a little bit long because the uh, odors at this hotel is small, but I'm gonna show you all the facility. First thing first, you can cook right over here. Yay! And they have all the utensils that you will need for cooking, the, the, the whatever thing that you need, the cup, the mug, the plate, the bowl, the microwave, two stove. Toaster, mug, um, tea, sugar, I guess, and uh, instant coffee. And then, oh, when I open this, the coffee smell buzz out. It's very good. Uh, the pot has the pan, the bowl for you to mix a salad, and uh, Nutella, black pepper, marmite, honey. They provide a very good honey. Um, if you see the honey like this solidified, it means a, good, a real stuff. The oat, the special K, hot chocolate powder, muesli, olive oil, and cornflake, and uh, Ajax spray. Let me show you what is inside the fridge. <laughs> Jana, there is a bottle of wine, fresh milk, cold water. Uh, oh, strawberry jam, and uh, they also provide the bread, the butter. Um, I went to buy fresh oyster, and uh, 
something for me to cook hot pot for tonight for me and my friend and oh no ice cream <laughs> let me show you the bathroom first then i'm gonna show you the bedroom okay the bathroom is a very very simple bathroom but they provide everything everyone needs the hand wash shaving cream first aid kit a uh, hair dryer the hair dryer should be a basic hair dryer then they provide the good argan oil shampoo and palm olive uh, body wash okay this is the uh, hang on ah 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 ah, ah tree <laughs> this is the handheld shower okay and they come with the air conditioner then come over here da, 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 da. they provide bath boom for the bathtub and the bath saw then uh, this is a small little treat from them uh, the cre creamy russian fudge uh, i think queen size or king size yeah, i did not check of that oh ah, ah, i will do the bit test later it's quite clean smell good i love it very much so um still waiting for the cloud to clear then I will able to see whether there's snow on the mountain cap or not. Okay, so imagine you wake up, then this is the view that you see. <sighs> How amazing, right? And it's very peaceful. So I hope tonight the cloud is not that cloudy and then I can see a beautiful night. Then tomorrow morning there'll be no sunlight. That's <laughs> right. Tomorrow morning there'll be no cloud, then I can see the beautiful snow cap mountain. Just settle down everything. I really, really love this uh, hotel, a house, a cabin. Even my friend is really impressed. Uh, the view is damn amazing. Air is very fresh, quite peaceful, quite quiet. So I think we're going to have a good sleep here. So very important. I'm going to do the bed test now. Uh, <laughs> it's, I have to be gentle to them because they are they are like not like a hotel fancy hotel so i will do the very mild gentle big test it's quite a hard and slightly bouncy bed so this uh, pillow is good for the back support oh firm pillow i like okay it's something like a synthetic pillow but it's very very thin and the back one oh square and the most firm pillow over here and i think the blanket here is like a warm quite a kind of warm blanket so uh don't worry that if you think that it's gonna be a cold even at uh, night should be fine uh just on the heater outside i think you all might need to watch me soak right over here <laughs> without the water the wine given by the hotel is very uh, i always call it hotel i think it's no not wrong to call it a hotel it's a chilean wine it's very uh fruity aromatic it's perfect to soak right over here uh to enjoy the view i think um over the winter when it snow heavily it will be a perfect place to soak and enjoy the view have some alcohol um hang on it smells good it smells a little bit like lemongrass thing 
So I will uh, spend my evening in the bathtub to enjoy this after the hot pot. As I mentioned earlier, that we are going to make hot pot for dinner. Um, the hot pot is just a clam, chicken stocks, um, gyoza, and uh, and what else? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> so I'm going to do the gyoza uh, from scratch. I got the flour and then uh, cabbage, carrots, and uh, leek and the minced meat. Uh, you can get a very good value of the minced pork at the uh, Park and Save. It's for only six seventy seven, like this big pack. I'm going. I think I'm going to use just half of this. Um, the seasoning will be just salt and pepper for the minced meat and just the vegetable. So let's start from the uh, gyoza skin. I uh, got this from one of the hotel or a hostel it's called the villa at Picon, and uh, they have this uh, free shelf and then i saw this uh, the flour is for free then i have the idea that why not you just have the what they call um gyoza and hot pot in this beautiful hot uh, cabin the house with a very nice view and then like we can uh, have the use the barbecue pot to uh, cook our dinner and then we can just enjoy everything the view right so uh we are not going to make a lot of the what they call skin gyoza skin it's just like uh, estimate like roughly you can get as it is so the flour and the water let me mix up everything then uh once i got the uh, gyoza skin now i'll show you how it looks like i've got all the dough done i really love this plate they really provide everything i have the uh, lots of tablecloth a lot of hand towel for me to wipe keep everything clean and all those cloth that is able to let me clean up after i mess up with the kitchen i promise i don't mess anything but um i will do my best to make everything clean and then good for the housekeeping and good for the owner so this is the dough it looks something like a clay like this then what you need to do is uh you just take a small pinch out okay uh take a small bowl of the flour put it over here okay i promise i will not mess up this place really oh yeah i need a uh what they call a plate because now i am going to make the gyoza skin just take a small piece roll into a ball uh-huh slightly too big mm. it's okay that you think if your dough is a little bit wet because i think uh, in new zealand now the weather here is a little bit uh what they call dry so your dough will definitely dries up very fast okay then um uh, in New Zealand, you get a lot of the wine bottle here uh, because that you need to press the skin, right? You can use a wine bottle to press it and then uh, you take any cup, round one, make sure it's round, then it will be easier for you to, uh, what do you call, to make the standard shape of the gyoza skin and try not to wear black color so all the, the flour all over you. But um, the wine, oh, haven't finished yet so uh, I will use the olive oil to uh, what they call to roll for my pen for my skin uh, gyoza skin like this it depends on you that uh, how thick the skin you want it to be but doesn't matter because that, um, it is still up to you to eat you're not going to sell this it's any anyway it's a homemade thing right so no complaint that if not doing very well you still eat it and then tomorrow you still flush it in the towel toilet okay so you get something like this it looks thin enough uh i can see through a little bit of light and then you just use the cup to chop it voila you get the round and beautiful gyoza skin and then tap a little bit of the flour and then you place it at the side make more and then um you're going to have the gyoza for tonight so it's very simple 
very happy to show you this is the gyoza skin I have done 21 pieces should be good enough and I'm going to make the uh, the, 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 the filling <laughs> so I'm going to use the leek the cabbage and the carrot and the minced pork to uh, make the ingredients now I'll show you in a bit before you make the ingredient get a sip of the wine first I almost finished the entire bottle before I cook the dinner <laughs> don't judge me so what you need to do is chop the uh, leek uh, carrot and cabbage into a fine dice small little cube and then you mix everything inside uh, then uh, you mix into a bowl with the minced meat with the salt, pepper, maybe some white wine inside, you'll be very good. Oh, and the uh, one or two egg will be good. I have chopped everything, the leg, carrot, and the cabbage. And I'm going to season with some of the salt. I will not put much of the seasoning because I really believe that the food in generally in New Zealand, the meat tastes really really good the vegetable the fruit really really yummy so uh we'll just put some salt for very very little seasoning so uh i think in case that you come to new zealand you have forgot any of the seasoning it's fine just eat it raw okay so i put my uh minced meat that i bought this afternoon then uh two eggs okay make sure when you have a trip in new zealand Please dry slowly when you think there's a farm around the area. Then you see the sign that uh, free range egg, fresh egg. Support the local, buy the uh, egg from them. Usually the eggs taste really good. Two eggs inside, and then I am going to mix everything for the filling. So, in case you have never been to uh, New Zealand, I'm not sure about other country eggs. Um, I think it's very hard to beat the egg in New Zealand egg. Uh, Sean and I tried that last time. It's like, oh, like we try to beat, but the egg yolk is like running around, running around. It's, they have a very firm egg yolks. Okay. You mix everything. Then I will have a close up to show you how I wrap the dumpling, the gyoza. So it looks colorful enough. You have, uh, can you see that? Uh, carrot, the cabbage, you bring out the very nice uh, crunchy uh, texture. I'm going to make the gyoza now. Uh, don't put too much of filling. Then use your thumb, pinch, pinch, uh, pinch, and pinch, and pinch, and pinch, and pinch. Ta -da. <laughs> okay right not too bad it's been almost like a uh, few more years i have not tried making gyoza but so that is quite a easy way i make about five <laughs> gyoza earlier that which come out very ugly shape then i realized that um the feeling that i put is way too much so all you need to do is that uh, don't be greedy like me uh, just make it a little bit less uh, ingredient the filling then you'll be able to make a beautiful gyoza like this ah, ooh, ooh, ooh. Yeah. so when you're feeling too much now it's gonna be very difficult to wrap up so it looks like this very lucky that i have my own uh, outdoor pan so i can uh, fry my gyoza with my own pan so with my uh, outdoor, what they call, outdoor the stove. Because I don't want to sleep in the bedroom with full of smell of food. And then uh, fried your gyoza, I think, will have some of the smell. And it's not nice for the owner to have a smelly... Uh, house later so gyoza is just like that you uh, pan fry the bottom and then later you add the water in and then you boil and steam it that's how you uh, cook gyoza yeah. oh. 
should be clean right i can't find a cover so what i need to do is i just put water in ah. oh no it's not big enough oh yes it is big enough cover up and then uh you cook until there's no steam comes up that means your gyoza is done and then after that you can see there's a fresh oyster over here it is from the supermarket called Park and Safe you can get that most of the time when you visit New Zealand it's delicious and I also asked my friend to cut the fish slices and the clam we are going to make hot pot with the uh, cabbage and the <laughs> carrot and the, what they call um, the leek and we are going to have the fish slight fish hot pot with the gyoza that's our dinner okay here it is this is the gyoza it's already done uh, it is not like what you can expect from the Japanese street food but it is smell similar and then I'm um, sure it tastes the same so uh, me and my friend we're going to have the gyoza first then we're going to cook the hot pot I'm going to try the oyster uh, New Zealand oyster usually is a smaller size but it tastes really good <sighs> one is not enough mm. the oyster is heavenly good heavenly good I'm going to prepare the uh, hot pot now I have never try that uh, shell food before I don't really trust it <laughs> I mean I don't really know it so what I'm going to do is I, I'm going to use half of the shell uh, to cook with the white wine first and then if it tastes good I'm going to make it in a hot pot with the uh, slight features yeah, that is my plan so I'm going to stir fry the vegetable first so I have fried with the leech leech leek leech leek and then a carrot very very nice fragrance with just olive oil and uh ah, I forgot this salt oh salt is here Just a little bit of the salt so you bring up some of the uh, what they call the water the liquid uh, I think the oil is a little bit too little let me add more oil so the purpose of this is just like to fry out the fragrance of the vegetable without garlic and uh, just a leek and what they call carrot it already smell good toast it a little bit and then uh, it's also want to make the carrot softer it'll be easier for me to eat later okay I can smell the great fragrance add in half of the shell that I have never tried before I don't know them they also don't know me and I add in the wine inside my body first then I boil with the wine that's it seems like it's doing well Oh, smell good. Um, all the clams have opened up nicely like this. Okay, I am going to give you a try. It looks quite beautiful. Oh, a little bit too salty to me. I think um. I'm going to add the stock and then going to boil a little bit more 
let me try I hope that the stock is not fish are uh, too salty too okay I don't think I need to try I can read whether got a uh, salt in the uh, ingredient or not yes there are some salt so I need to give you a try first I never try this brand oh actually not bad so what I need to do is I'm going to add this uh, to dilute a little bit of the salt boil a little bit more then uh, me and my friend are going to enjoy the clam soup hot pot is ready we are like having a fine dining <laughs> with the Asian and New Zealand cuisine so uh, as I mentioned oh smells so good uh, it is 15 degree right now to have hot pot with the uh, white wine is really a good idea and um, so what I did is like, I put a cabbage my friend said that he loved cabbage so I make a cabbage soup then today then I know he like cabbage uh, I add I have the remain um, white wine soup just now earlier then I add more of the what they call chicken stock and I uh, let me give it a try mm. I think the shell is, itself is already salty so it is a little bit salty to me I'm going to add more of the what they call the chicken stock soup later so what you do is like you have slices of the uh, fishes you just throw inside and then just poach it and you eat it that's how we eat the uh, hot pot let me uh, boil a little bit more with more chicken stock now yeah then we will enjoy our dinner with another bottle of the sparkling wine by myself <laughs> I set the water too hot and ow but it's very very nice <laughs> I'm going to use a bath bomb something citrusy uh, I think it should be lemongrass with a uh, a rose petal on top oh, I have already finished the first bottle from the the uh, house owner oh super good <laughs> whoa okay I'm actually having my uh, second glass second bottle oh, it is <laughs> amazing can you see the steam and I try to scratch out the the bath bomb and uh, it's a little bit oily I quite like it I think it's good for the skin so ah uh, it smells so good I like it I love it very much it's super comfortable <laughs> ah the steam it's a bit contrast with uh, a little bit cold <laughs> and the bathroom really has some of the oil it will make my skin uh, moisturizing <sighs> so uh, for any drinker I will recommend you to buy more wine more alcohol more food to come over here or maybe a uh, more bathroom uh, the one um, the provided by them it's amazing it's just like a good skin moisturizer ah. <laughs> I really have a good time right over here now it is 11 a.m. Um, tomorrow I will wake up early for breakfast then I will go to the one on the uh, track to get the reflection of the snow mountains beautiful then I will check out at 10 a.m. I will try to request for a late checkout if possible if I can I wish I can stay slightly longer or in case it's rain tomorrow then I will uh, just soak again yeah. uh, that's good and bad thing about the shelter above the bathtub if I think without the shelter you can soak and enjoy the beautiful starry starry night but uh, I think maybe in the winter season with the uh, snow it's gonna be a little bit uh, tricky for the guests and maybe the owner or the housekeeping to clean up the house but uh, it's good and bad but I will 
maybe later uh, after soap I will walk around outside to enjoy the darkness of this uh, compound and uh, then I'll get early morning uh, early, uh, early evening to rest I will bring this uh, creamy Russian fudge back to Singapore to enjoy with Sean I love it I really really love this uh, outdoor bath ex uh, idea and the experience is really make the uh, tiredness from driving from all all along from uh, crutches to this make it so much better okay let me turn it off and enjoy and I'll see you in the breakfast I have a very good sleep I woke up uh, around 6 when the al alarm ring make a breakfast uh, fried egg very cozy to uh, have a small kitchen indoor so I don't have to cook outside in the cold temperature and then I have a very good shower the shampoo is really good uh, the body wash is also good smell uh, it's an orchid flavor uh, body wash uh, water pressure is good surprisingly it's good but uh, the heat when uh, my friend is uh, washing out the dishes I think the hot water will be like uh, cut off just a few seconds uh, ventilation is very very good we have a uh, pool twice in the toilet and then they will just suck out the bad smell so I have did not smell anything even though the five star hotel have no don't have such a features to suck out the bad smell bed is really good there's no noise at all zero noise I've tried to uh, went out to check out the night view the starry night but it was a cloudy night so I see no Milky Star uh, late midnight but I did see that uh, what I call after dinner amazing uh, no complaint I wish to stay longer one night is definitely not enough but we are going out to a track to see the snow mountain but uh, it seems like it is a uh, what they call a little bit rainy outside and cloudy might not see the beautiful reflection of the volcano but we will do our best to track for two hours go up and one hour back then we will do the checkup i had awesome stay in this uh, beautiful cabin and i also got the opportunity to meet the owner to see the brand new cabin for more than four can host up to six uh, guests in this new cabin I will start from the hot tub first it's a very nice privacy area over here then you've got this uh, hot tub handmade in New Zealand and they can they got this tub from uh, Christchurch so this uh, beautiful tub that is perfect because uh, um, it's rooftop free and at night you can see a beautiful starry night over here and I uh, can uh, enjoy the view over there okay let me show you the room <laughs> it is slightly longer slightly bigger so for this room you can host up to four person oh, six mm, yeah 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 four sorry <laughs> Uh, two single bed and then a double bed right over here a lot of power plug a huge fridge microwave four stove and oven wow okay uh, this cabin is still on a renovating and I'll show you the bathroom this is amazing bathroom set up for the mobile friendly bathroom I just talked to the owner a little bit he was like, saying that he want to have this uh, place for those Mm, not mobile easy person to uh, come out over here to enjoy the beautiful view and they can have it in a very uh, comfortable space wheelchair friendly for them and this is the living room dining table and then this is the master bedroom oh okay let me go in over there and have a look what is inside Okay, ooh, bathrobe! Yes, I think they really need a bathrobe for, for that though, so you can enjoy everything. I love this uh, blanket, it's very smooth, silky, uh, what they call, touch. I love it very much. So this is a quick view for you and uh, I will say that I would love to come back to this beautiful place again. It is very calm. I'm happy that I see the snow-capped mountain and then... Um, 
I saw some of the view last night uh, during dinner, so see sea view and uh, it's so calm, it's so quiet, it's just a place that for you to come over here to uh, get away from the noise from the city and um, I will just want to come back again with Sean and with my friends and enjoy the peacefulness of this beautiful place. I hope you like this video. I will hope you will come to this amazing place and uh, stay more than two nights, three nights and then you will definitely have a amazing power charge. Um, I just went to the hillside, the trekking, uh, the, what, 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 what's the name of the hut? Re uh, for a return route, it took about four hours and in total 12 kilometer. Totally worth for it. I left around 7 in the morning and then I come back around 11. Uh, the owner is very good enough to let me go for a quick shower then uh, come to see this uh, beautiful new cabin that holds up to six person. Okay, with that, I hope you like this video. Goodbye.